Hey guys, uh, welcome everyone to the first episode of the On Couch podcast, which is organized by the Turiba University Student Council. So this first episode is going to be quite informational. We'll talk about all of the study opportunities that you have here at, Tur at Turiba University. We will also talk about the surrounding of Turiba, where you can go, about our public transportation, as well as we will mention uh, Turiba campus itself, what you can do here uh, about our Turiba hostel. So stay tuned. My name is Artur Spotjomkins and I am going to be the English host for this podcast. Personally, I am the International Cooperation Head at the Student Council. So it is my pleasure to give you all this information about our university. So, as I said, this is going to be the first part of the podcast. The next two episodes are also going to be quite informational, so definitely stay tuned. So, first of all, you're probably quite curious. What can I study at Turiba University? Well, first of all, we have our college-level study programs. At the moment, Turiba offers computer system program as a college study program. Of course, you're going to study a lot about computers and about programming, uh, as the title says. And when you complete the course successfully, you can actually uh, continue studying here at Turiba in the bachelor study program, which is also called computer systems. And you can skip straight forward to the third year. Then we have our bachelor study programs. Uh, we have many of these and I'll name you all of them. Business administration, business logistics management, computer systems, international communication management, tourism and hospitality management. All of these programs uh, are four years long. So after you successfully finished a bachelor study program here at Turiba University, you are more than welcome to continue your studies here in one of our master study programs. Then we have our master study programs, which are business administration, business psychology, and human resource management, and as well as tourism strategic management. And finally, Turiba University also gives you the opportunity to study doctoral study programs. Uh, doctoral studies are significantly more difficult yet rewarding because they change the perceptions and subvert stereotypes about the research topic and life in general. So the studies that the doctoral study programs offer here at Turiba University are as follows. Business administration, communication management, law science and management science. Now, if you come to study at Turiba University, uh, you're probably already traveling from another country to Latvia just to study here and stay here. But that doesn't mean that you can't use our exchange programs, which we offer also to our international students. And in total, we have three of these programs that you can choose. The first program we offer is the double degree program. So first of these programs that Turiba offers is the double degree program. When you apply to participate in this double degree program, you spend one part of your study time at Turiba University and then another part at one of the partner institutions abroad, thus obtaining two diplomas during one study period. Next, we have the Erasmus Plus program. This is a very popular pro program, but just in case, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So when you participate in the Erasmus program, uh, it provides studies from three months up to 12 months uh, at one of the universities in the European Union that is in cooperation with our Turiba University. And finally, we have the bilateral exchange program. In the framework of this program, students have a possibility to spend one semester at one of the universities around the world that is in cooperation with Turiba University. So when it comes to other interesting projects that you can participate in, 
as an international student, Turiba University invites international students to participate in summer school this year. This summer school will give you knowledge about the nowadays processes in business world, how to plan and lead your business in those difficult times, and how to manage communication and marketing activities. You will meet many experienced entrepreneurs and marketing specialists from the Baltic states, and you will also discuss the tendencies and will define the new normal in business. The main topics that you are going to speak about are going to be development and management of business and communication in nowadays world. You'll get to know Latvia, its culture, history, traditions and business environment in the Baltic states, as well as you will have the chance to develop more communication and teamwork skills. You will get to know Latvia and Riga not only as a tourist, but will learn about our culture and traditions by actually experiencing them and participating. The summer school will take place in Riga, the capital of Latvia. Riga is the biggest city of the Baltic states. It is the cultural and economic center of the Baltics, if you didn't know that. And during the summer school, you will not only participate in lessons, but also will have a chance to get to know Riga and will spend a wonderful time in our beautiful city. So, if you're planning on studying bachelor or master level studies of business and communication or related programs in Turiba, you definitely want to apply to this summer school. So, if this summer school sounds interesting to you and you want to apply, definitely check out more information on our Turiba University webpage. So, when it comes to studies, that is pretty much most of what Turiba has to offer you. Again, if any of this interested you, you are always free to check our Turiba University website and find more information there. I promise you, it'll be worth it. So, definitely check us out. Now, when you arrive to Turiba, we have quite the beautiful surrounding and we have pretty much all necessities that a student may need right here on our campus. First of all, in our main building, we have two cafes, Nike and Café Turib, which offer very delicious meals for students at a reasonable price. There is also a dressing room where everyone is always greeted with a nice smile. Now, when you arrive to Turib, Probably the first thing you'd want to do is go and visit our study information center, which is right in the main building, as soon as you enter to the right side. And right beside the study information center, you can actually find the main entrance to our library, which has a wide range of necessary literature, which can also be accessed electronically. There is also a computer room and a reading room up on the second floor of the library. Now, when it comes to the second floor of our university, at least the main building, uh, there you can find the open corner, which is one of the most beloved spots of our students here at Turib. It gives the students an opportunity to relax in a pleasant atmosphere, charge your phone, or use the time on the comfortable sofas to study at the table. This year, the student council has also renovated the open corner, and now we have a lot of games and books that you can check out in your free time. For those of you who are more interested in sports, we also have our own basketball hall, which is well equipped and is very well known to, for our Turib students. It is also very popular with high-class Latvian basketball players that study right here at Turib University. The school's administration and the student council actively organize a lot of different events in the basketball hall. So definitely make sure to follow our social medias to find out all about the newest events. So that was it for our basketball activities, but those are not the only types of sports we do here at Turiba University. Now to continue our conversation about sports and more directly sports possibilities in Turiba University, we have invited a special guest to our podcast. Uh, hi, you can introduce yourself. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Samantha. I'm the coach of uh, our university cheerleader squad already four years. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you, any student, as I know, 
any student can apply for the cheer cheerleading squad, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, we don't separate genders or anything. We need everyone. Uh, so if you're a guy or a girl, uh, we will welcome you with open hands to our uh, small, maybe not anymore, so a small team. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what does the cheerleader squad do exactly? Uh, well, we basically dance everywhere we can, <laughs> so that's our <laughs> uh, our job. Uh, starting from our basketball games, ending with uh, TV shows, and in the middle we had uh, our student council events or or bigger tourib events, which was like a um, uh, Yerizalma dance challenge, which was uh, posted in Facebook feed. So yeah, basically we we dance everywhere someone offers. <laughs> Mm. Sounds real nice. Now, if wanted to apply for your cheerleading squad, how would they do so? Uh, so you just contact me. Uh, my, you can get my number in our university uh, homepage underneath the cheerleaders or just find me in uh, on Instagram. We have a But Cheerleaders Instagram profile and you can find mine. And just write us that you want to come. I will give you the details about next uh, practice and anything you need with uh, with you to the next practice is uh, just sneakers, uh, your training clothes and uh, good uh, good vibes, energy and just happiness. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, that's uh, quite interesting. But maybe you have some some kind of fun stories that you can tell about some some kind of event, maybe. Uh, well, uh, the mo uh, for me, the most weirdest and funnest event was the, the TV show, which was four years ago when we just started uh, from from scratch our uh, cheerleaders. And, and some lady just wrote me in uh, WhatsApp that uh, she wants us to dance in the TV show. And I was like, mm, okay, so we don't have any dances. <laughs> we haven't practiced at all, but okay, we will do that. And no one, of course, paid us. We don't ask money for that. But um, that was that was quite interesting, and uh, we were a part of um, this um, hotel Radisson Blue um, worker party, or what do you call it, uh, as a guest, and uh, they all they had to make their own um, performance, and uh, they had like the specific type of performance they have to make so they were on like the specific clothes and everything and they thought that us as the cheerleaders who were introduced as Turib University cheerleaders as a guest dancer they thought that the, it was a joke and we were part of the some like a worker group and they were like <laughs> constantly laughing through all the dance and we were like okay what's wrong what what are we doing like wrong and they paid us actually that was a weird, uh, weird thing as well because I didn't ask for money. But um, that was um, that was something interesting. And of course, the most challenging thing was uh, Diwali, uh, which mm. is uh, Indian Light Festival, and we had to dance traditional Indian dance, which is we don't know nothing about it. <laughs> but we were <laughs> just trying to improvise and find something. So yeah. Yeah. Well, sounds like a lot of fun. Um, so, so let's say I'm a new student at Turibe University and I find the opportunity to participate in this cheerleading squad quite interesting. How often would I have to go to practice? Yeah, so we try to make a practice two times a week and uh, it's, well, I wouldn't say obligated to come, but you have to come to all the practices because each practice we learn new dance or we getting ready to some um, event or something. So it's very mm -hmm. important that you make you can make it to all the practices. Of course, it's understanding that uh, you can't make it sometimes of some issue in your life, but um, at the same time, you have to show that you are willing to learn somehow or you can ask me to maybe make like a private uh, meeting or any other girl or try to come earlier to practice or stay later or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it would, it's, it's, I'm, I'm happy if you can make it to all the practices because it's easier for me and it's easier for the rest of the girls that we don't have to learn one dance hundred times in all the practices because of some person can't come to like the specific training or can't come to every 
training. So that's yeah, that's a very, actually very important if you can make it to all of them. Okay, and um, kapas tika gribe uzjata. Oh, okay, that sounds quite interesting. Um, now, how easy is it to combine being a cheerleader with studies? Oh, I think actually it's very easy because um, all the girls who come to cheerleaders, they always say that the, the cheerleading practice takes like a mind off like these um, important or not, okay, not important, but like difficulties in school. So you mm -hmm. just relax in the practices. But uh, since the practice is later in the evening after after school, after everything, and if you know how to manage your time, you can easily combine everything. And uh, we, I, I don't make, um, I don't like take all of your time in the evening. So I've always tried to make the practice so you can go home or stu to study or you can study before the practice. And uh, of course the school is priority and I understand those things. So we don't take practices uh, that much before uh, sessions or anything like that because the school is uh, still the priority. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to combine everything and uh, it's relaxing. Yeah, sounds really cool. Um, I think that's it. Maybe you have some final words for any potential students who would want to get into this uh, cheerleading squad? Uh, well, I would be happy to see new faces. I always, uh, I'm, I'm always happy. So uh, you, can, you can join us anytime. Uh, all the practices are in English, so don't be afraid that uh, someone will speak Latvian and you won't understand anything. We uh, speak always English and you will probably learn a lot of new things in uh, in dancing zone <laughs> with us in the cheerleaders. <laughs> yeah, so thank you, Samantha. And I think yeah. we can move on to our next sports event. Thank you for having me today. We also have another quite popular sport among our international students, and that's cricket. Today joining us is Yash, who is our Erasmus coordinator, and who's also a big fan of the cricket club. So, hi Yash. Hi Arturs. So, would you want to tell a bit more about cricket for those, of, for those students who are interested in it? Yes, of course. Uh, first of all, uh... Cricket, what we what Turiba offers, it's registered with uh, Latvian Cricket Federation. Uh, also, the players from Turiba University they play for Latvian team. I am playing as well, and there is uh, the captain of Latvian cricket team is also a Turiba student. And uh, why students should show up uh, in this because uh, it's worldwide sport, but not so popular in Europe as UK is. It's very popular in uh, UK, but uh, there is opportunity of growth in Latvia. Uh, only depends on uh, the infrastructure and the stadiums and all this thing, but it's been developing. I have been seeing it from last five years. It's been growing. That's why um, I think it's very interesting sports. It's, uh, it keeps you physically fit. It's a very good reason to do this sport. And yeah. So that does sound quite interesting. So for example, if I'm a student, arrive here and I'm searching for some sports opportunities and I find cricket quite interesting, where do I go? You can, uh, we do have Facebook page and also you can find more information on the website of Turiba University. Uh, on Facebook page, you can leave a message. There is uh, a email provided uh, and also a phone number. And you can request to join. I will add the person in the group. We do have a WhatsApp group for our team. And we usually post there about practice, uh, the sessions. And also, if the student is interested, he can. Uh, I can add the student to the Latvian Cricket Federation as well and can show up for the practice in weekends. And if he plays well, if he gets selected, then he can have the opportunity to play for... Latvian cricket team and also we do have some small 
tournaments between universities. So uh, if if the student really want to join, they can join and play for the reverse team. Okay, you know, I'm in. I'm joining the cricket club. <laughs> but now that I've decided to join, um, what do I need to get started uh, when it comes to equipment, for example? Yeah, uh, about the equipments, uh, we order it from UK or from India, as it's not available here in Latvia. You can we can order it online, but it it uh, it's better to order from UK or India. Uh, Latvian Cricket Federation they provide with some equipments. Also, uh, the Dubai University will be providing cricket equipment as well. As you can, as you know, just two minutes away from the main building there is this cricket pitch, which is like one the only cricket pitch in Latvia. With so I think um, if you are Dubai student. If you are joining, it's very easy just uh, to go there and do practice. All the equipments are kept in the storeroom at Turiba University. Thank you, Yash, for the explanation all about cricket. For those of you who are interested, definitely keep up with the information and sign up for the cricket club. And on the third floor, we have our big conference hall, which is actually quite famous. Now you may ask, why is our Turiba conference hall so famous? It is because Turiba University organizes one of the biggest graduation ceremonies out of all of the Latvian universities. For those of you who are quite interested in starting your own business, you can do that right here at Turiba in our business incubator. The business incubator is located right here on our campus, literally a minute walk away from our main building. Over there you can find offices and everything that you may need for starting up a business. One of the best things about this business incubator is that if you're a student of Turiba University, you get a major discount for your monthly subscription. If you want to hear more information about our business incubator, stay tuned for future episodes. So let's say that you've decided to come and study at Turiba. Great! We are waiting for you here and a great opportunity for you is our student hotel right here on the campus, right near the main building where all the studies happen. We have our student hotel. The hotel is very spacious and it offers both permanent and short term accommodation for all students and visitors. The hostel has well equipped shared showers, rooms and toilets with two kitchens on each floors of the hostel. Students also have access to a classroom, a TV room, computer room, and free Wi-Fi, as well as self-service laundry, a hair salon, and other services important for students. The number of beds in standard rooms ranges from 2 to 4, and of course the prices vary depending on how many beds you have in a room. The Turiba Hotel also offers comfort rooms for all of you who are willing to pay a bit more, you also get a lot of extras like your own bathroom and a twin-sized bed. So I think that will be it about the campus itself. Now we can talk a little bit more about the surroundings of the campus. So first of all, public transport. When it comes to public transport, we have lots of options here for all, all of our students at Turib University. For example, within three minutes walk, there is our own railway station, which is called Turiba University. The train arrives every hour and you can get to the center of Riga and back in approximately nine minutes. We also offer our students two more public transport stops to the center of Riga that are right near the university. But if you're a student who has their own car while you're studying here at Turiba, you also have the option to use the large parking lot in the territory. The parking lot at the main entrance is guarded and you can access your car 24 hours a day. If you're just arriving to Turi before a short while, let's say for a few hours, the parking costs 1 euro for the first hour and then for the every next consecutive hour, it only adds 50 cents to your total payment. So for example, if you stay at Turib and you park for three hours, 
you only have to pay 2 euros for your parking. However, if you're going to live here permanently, you can always purchase a subscription. A monthly subscription is worth 7 euros. You can also buy a subscription for 6 months, which will cost you 28 euros. And if you're gonna live here for a whole year, the subscription costs only 42 euros. If you're a student who permanently resides here in our Turib hostel, you have access to two supermarkets right near the university. First of all is Maxima, which is a pretty big supermarket and you can get pretty much all necessities that a student would ever need there, as well as groceries. Over there you can also find ATMs. And then the second supermarket is a smaller Rimi supermarket, which also offers you great options for groceries and other products. And let's say you're feeling a bit snackish during the evening. You can go and visit our McDonald's, which is a five minute walk away from our campus, or go to Lulu Pizza, which is located in the Maxima supermarket. For those students who are very active basketball players, we also offer basketball trainings once a week. If you're a student who's also a basketball enthusiast, we have a basketball court right on the campus. So you can gather up your friends and go play some hoops at any time of the day. Guys, thank you for listening to the first informational episode of the podcast On Couch. Definitely hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the future episodes. Hopefully you'll tune in for all of the future episodes of our podcast uh, where we'll discuss a lot of different topics like the business incubator or a lot of our upcoming projects as the student council. So if you found any of this information interesting or any of this information is relevant to you, be sure to visit our Turiba University webpage where you can find more detailed information about everything and anything that we talked about today. So yeah, that's been it for me. See you next episode.